whom God has appointed over us. We say yes, we agree, and we celebrate. But a little while after, we stop celebrating. And we have to be careful with those behaviors, because it is go a long way. Amen? Amen. Jerusalem today is in a mess. And they're more scared than anybody else in the world. Because the same man that rode in Jerusalem on the donkey, they have rejected him. And he said that the land is left desolate. And they would know no peace until Shiloh come, until they of themselves say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. So it really doesn't matter That's what the word. they try to accomplish peace. There would be no peace for them until Shiloh comes. So they have a long history of no peace. And that history is going to continue until they recognize who Jesus is. You and I today have claimed that we recognize him. That's our claim. This is not a Hindu temple. This is not a mosque. This is not a shrine where you do strange things, but this is the house of prayer. Yes. This is the assembly of the saints. Yes. This is where God's children gather yes. to hear what God wants done. So there must be a reason why we're here. I would like to read from the book of 1 Peter 5, the same that is on the the handout that you received there. Say the elders which are among you, this is Peter addressing overseers. I exalt whom am also an elder and a witness of suffering, of the suffering of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you, taking the oversight, Bill. Not by constraint, but willingly. Not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Neither as being lords over God's heritage. But I'd rather just say God's children. So who will know what heritage you mean when we get it ready? But being an example to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. So we have a choice. To receive a crown of glory that is everlasting, or take it now and don't have nothing tomorrow. Feed yourself now and remain hungry tomorrow. Because we know we have shepherds that this bleed flocks, right? And not feed them. This occasion here, I'm 
Archbishop is the chief bishop yes. over all the other bishops. Amen. Now we have not seen the word Arch in the Bible. Eh? It's not in the ordination stuff. But we know what it means. It means that Archbishop Leon John could instruct the bishops in the direction that they must go. Amen? Amen. That's what you agree with today. That you are going to agree that the Archbishop is able to direct you. If you don't agree with that, you should not be part of it. The Patriarch is here. Let us stand and welcome him in Jesus' almighty name. direct the bishops. When they receive it, they direct those that God had given to them. That's the call. If we do anything different, God will hold us responsible. Because we have agreed that Archbishop Leon John should be our bishop. So then he can say to the bishop, this is what I desire to see. This is a big rule. This could be a lonely rule. This rule has rejection. It's not just a camouflage. It's not just a, a concert what is going on. Heaven is taking record. It's not us alone that is assembled here this morning. The angels of God is here too. We have to be particular in what we think. And what we say in the presence of God. The apostle Peter, whom Jesus had given overseering power to the eleven, and to those that go with him. How the church must go. In the book of Ephesians, the Bible says he made them first apostles and prophets. And evangelists and pastors and teachers for the edification of the church, for the work of the ministry, for the building up of God's people unto the perfect stature of Christ. That's the call. That is in the house this morning. An overseer is to look and see if things are going by the way. 
And if it's not going by the way, they always say I have to say that. Or God will hold him responsible. You see, some of them will like position, right? Or God will be to fight for that, no? But if God ain't calling to it, it becomes a burden to you. But anything that God placed on a man, God is able to take care of the man. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God is able to hold the man together and direct him according to me. Yes. But God expects the people of God yes. to support fully yes. and to support in a holy way. Yes. So it's nice to say, yeah, we agree. But when the instructions come, Jesus said something like, if any man desire to come after me, the first thing he must do is to leave himself out. And we have so much of self in the house of God now that it's amazing that the power of God and the glory of God is not seen among his people. Because I want it. And you want it. But all the glory, all the honor, all the praise belongs to God. Because we are actually you and I have done nothing. All of us came from a pit of stinkness. The good shepherd found us. We didn't find him. He was never lost. We didn't choose him. He chose us. So then who is the boss? He's the boss. This office is not making him a boss. He's just a supervisor. <laughs> he supervised him to make sure that the ministers are standing properly, to make sure that the mothers are walking orderly, to ensure that the children of God be fed with the things of God rather than the things that they want to have the people think. You can't feed from yourself, you have to feed from the word of God. Jesus said, my word is spirit and they are life. And if a man eat of this, he shall never hunger but thirst again. So we have been sure that the word of God is protected in the church. Because the Bible says that in the last days, many false prophets shall come. And if it is possible, they would deceive the very elect. Hence the reason why God has not left this church without overseers, watchmen to watch for the souls of the people. It is more important to watch for the souls of people than to engage in looks and images and monuments for the disciples have they had a they had a, a ambition. And they took Jesus by the temple in Jerusalem. And they show him the beauty of the temple. They say, Master, 46 years we've been building this thing long before you were born. And thought that that would impress Jesus. They thought that that would tell Jesus something. But Jesus said, See ye not all these things. In other words, do not look at the temple that is built with hands. For there is not one stone here that shall not be hewn down. It is all coming down. If there is anything to stand, it's going to be the truth and the word of God. If there is anything that is going to live, it's the things that includes the word of God. So he was kind of getting the mind for the mission. So they will not pay obeisance because people's ministry today is based on how big the house is. Come 
and what they have on the wall, but God is studying that. God is looking at what you have on the walls of your heart. God is thinking about what you have in your mind. God is thinking about what you're doing with his children. God is thinking about what is your daily life looking like. God is thinking about are you growing or are you prospering? Are you living in the same place that he found you? But some persons have not yet made one step forward. They're still with the grave clothes. But it has to come off. Because when you come from the grave, you're no longer belonging to the grave. Amen? Amen. Now you belong to the heaven. Your eyes are looking unto Jesus from whence cometh your head. It comes from the Lord that made heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. And the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me. He shall preserve my soul. He shall preserve me when I'm going. And he shall preserve me when I'm coming. Not only for now, forevermore. That's his promise to us. The apostle Peter declares himself as an elder. That's an office. That you could be named different names in that office. But elder is overseer. Watchman. And he revealed himself as an elder, even though he's an apostle. An apostle. Those were men that touched Jesus. They slept with him. They ate with him. They walked with him. He ordained them apostles. A man cannot ordain a man an apostle. There's no man on the earth to ordain another man an apostle. The apostolic era, era is over. They were, they, were, they were to build and to lay the foundation of the church. And we are the builders that build upon the foundation of the apostles. There's no more apostle. But we have it all over the place now. Man, woman, and child is apostle now. And we have to safeguard ourselves from it coming into the house of God. Because you see, it's ambition. That is what it is, it's ambition. I have an ambition. But a name without a walk is dead. A big name without the manifestation of what the name represents. It's a vain thing. It's a vain thing. If you are a son, you walk as a son. Praise the Lord. If you are a shepherd, you walk as a shepherd. If you are an elder, you walk as an elder. I don't care what you call yourself. If you can't manifest it, it doesn't tell God nothing, and it sure doesn't tell man anything. So he didn't look to play to take no big name. He just said, I'm an elder. And he said, I'm appointed to be a witness of the suffering of Christ. Oh, oh. So the office, the office of suffering. Oh. He said he was called to be a witness of the suffering. He saw what happened to Jesus. And Jesus told him it will happen to you. Because I'm putting you in the same office that I am. And if they hate the master, they would hate the children. Praise the Lord. So I just want to remind us. Good work. I pray for Bishop Archbishop Leon Chan because I know definitely he's a, a man of good heart. He's a man with a good heart. And what God has called him to do, we have to trust God that God is going to do it for him. We have to support him and walk with him. So may God bless us real good.
may cause his face to shine on all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord.